Hello and welcome back to the pool. I'm the guy from Major and this is a let's play in HMS Jervis, the tier 6 tech tree destroyer for the British Navy. Uh, now this is a game of domination on the Atlantic, tier 5 and 6 games, so Fubuki and Mass are the enemy destroyers, Exeter, Mayuko and York and Helena are the enemy cruisers and Ismail, Bayern and Warspite are the battleships. I've spawned in the centre and I'm going to dip my toe into Bravo, I might as well see what's what. Um, I know on the enemy team there's no radar which is a good benefit and I'm seeing the left's going left, uh, the centre and the right seem to be going right so it looks like we have a good split of the team um, but I don't want to push too hard into Bravo because I don't want to overextend myself and then end up getting uh, caught out by the enemy. Uh, contested so I know at least a um, destroyer is here so I'm just going to make sure I've got my escape strategy which is going to be uh, go forward and hard right I'm not located uh, which is a good thing because now I know that the enemy destroyer doesn't have RDF um, so therefore the enemy destroyer doesn't know exactly where I am and I think what would you want me to do? you want my assistance um, Let's see, enemy destroyer spotted is a Fabuki, which means I know I'm up against a mass. Enemy Helena has set up a position on the other side of the island, but I know her sonar range is pretty poor. Um, I might do some chancy torpedoes down here, just to see if I can catch the Helena out if she does pop out. And... I'm seeing most of the heavy units off to the left, so if I can try and keep most of an island between me and them. They have got a battleship there. Another cruiser there. Mass does have decent sonar, so I don't want to push up too far. But if I was a mass, I'd be over here somewhere. So I'm just going to put some chancy torpedoes out, just to see if I can almost get them to make a move. Enemy Fubuki's gone, which is good to know. Spotted. Oh, there's the mass. Well, I will just tuck in behind this iron because I don't want to be spotted for too long. Now, this is where you would expect the mass to push me as hard as possible to try and get his sonar on me, at least that's what I would do, but you'd never know with some players, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep backing up and see what's what almost, might pop my sonar on now, might just pop my smoke here and then See if I can pick on the header now. Smoke screen set. It's the Helena again. Masses fire torpedoes on the other side of the iron, so he expected me to go back that way. Got a fire on the Helena. And also I know the mass did actually leave the objective and then turn around and come back in, so He's probably done a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop and he's just behind that island. Now I'm going to use my quick acceleration in the British DDs in order to avoid those torpedoes. And judging by the angle of those torpedoes, it means that he's now probably off in this direction. So I'm going to just try and see if I can peek him. Okay, uh, he didn't use his um, sonar which is very interesting and he's also found all his torpedoes and I really don't care about losing my engine whereas he will so I'm just going to make sure there's like a really nice torpedo net uh, that's my auto avoid happening and I am going to just quickly stop here and pop my own smoke I'm going to Repair that engine, although normally I wouldn't care about it. Ah, there we go. So we got the mass. So we can see that the enemy's all kind of bunched up to the northwest of the map. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to grab Bravo. And I might even. Oh, Helen has gone as well. 
Why did the mass not use this sonar to pick me up? If he was going to push me, he should have used the sonar. Very strange. Unless he'd already used his sonar at the start when um, when I was getting those torpedoes out. Because his sonar only lasts a minute and a half, whereas my sonar will last three minutes. What have I got? I've got mm, two torpedoes in the tube. You know what? I'll get rid of them. And then let the whole tube reload. Or the whole launcher reload, I should say. It's two aircraft at this end of Bravo, which is concerning. Oh, they got York. York's backing up. And then they've got Exeter pushing in. Got to remember that Exeter and York are going to have quite decent sonar ranges, but they're also quite far away. There goes the York. Exeter is weak. Um, but I think I'm probably best served doing a bit of spotting for the for my team. Um, it won't be long until the Exeter's gone. Uh, but he's going to spear into a smoke, so I'm just going to quickly pop off a couple of rounds. I'm going to turn to the right of this island because I want to drop off the sex beast from the Maiku, but that's the end of the game. So, quite a strategic play uh, in the centre. I wouldn't normally go for the centre, but on that map it's quite tempting too because there's quite a few islands, and if you know your escape route, you should be fine. Um, came second on the team. I'm happy with that um, for the for the kind of work I did in the destroyer there. I managed to take out the second player on the enemy team as well. Economy wise, uh, made a pretty penny uh, buying for tier six, 106,000 credits. Uh, however, still made 130 credits uh, with premium plus the 10% battle booster, which has been quite nice. Uh, made a pretty penny across the board as well. Well, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, command build and ship mods are down in the description. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And if you already subscribed, then thank you very much. And if you have any of your own game captures that you'd like to submit for commentary, our email address is also down below in the description. I've been the Gareth Major, and back to the port.